Greetings Xbox enthusiasts, welcome back to Xbox Zone UK and I. I'm Christian working with Microsoft and today we're embarking on a journey through the distinct features of Xbox Gen 9 wireless controllers. Prepare for a few features that will elevate your gaming adventure. Dynamic Latency Input, or DLI, is the secret source in Xbox controllers, working behind the scenes to make your gaming experience smoother than ever. It's the tech wizardry that minimizes that annoying input lag by fine-tuning the wireless signal between your controller and console in real time. Picture it as your controller being on a mission to respond faster than ever. So when you press a button, bam! Your game reacts instantly, creating a gaming experience that's not just good, but downright exhilarating. DLI transforms your controller, ensuring that every move you make in the gaming round feels like second nature, keeping you hooked and ready for the next gaming adventure. How about QuickShare? Xbox QuickShare is a convenient feature designed for capturing and sharing moments during gameplay. With a simple button press, users can take screenshots and record clips without interrupting their gaming experience. It eliminates the need to navigate through menus, providing a straightforward way to document and share in-game highlights. Whether you want to showcase your victories or humorous gaming moments, QuickShare offers a quick and effective solution to creating shareable content. To change your QuickShare settings, head to the settings on your Xbox, go into Preferences and select Capture and Share. Here you can change if the button screenshots or screen records, how the button works, where it uploads to, and what the resolution and length is of the recording. QuickShare is easy to activate in gaming, meaning you can screenshot and record in an instant, and you can forever relive those victories over your friends. Venture into the realm of personalization with customizable button remapping to sculpt your controller layout. On your Gen 9 controller, you have the ability to change some of the buttons around. Head over into your settings, head into accessibility and select controller. Here you can change vibration, switch on co-pilot or head to button remapping, where you can change your quick share button, swap sticks, invert axis on your right and left thumbstick, you can even switch your trigger buttons for your preference or your accessibility need. In games like Forza Motorsport plus many more, you can head into the in-game settings and reconfigure your controller so the buttons work as you would like them to in the game, giving you more customization with your controller. I personally recommend doing this when you start a game to give you that competitive edge from the start. While you're here, 98% of people that consume videos on this channel aren't subscribed. So if you've ever enjoyed any of our content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for more tailored content like this. Multi-device connectivity. Connect your Xbox controller to multiple devices with zero effort and seamlessly swap between them, whether it's your console, PC or mobile. It's all at your fingertips with a simple swap command. If like me, you use the same controller across multiple devices, all you have to do to swap between the devices is simply hold the sync button on the back. It will swap over to the last connected device. Once you want to swap back, simply double tap the same sync button and it's done. What if you have a household full of people that are all different ages, some want to play Call of Duty or Starfield, but the little E's like my five-year-old aren't allowed to play content like that. Well, with Xbox wireless controllers, you can link to profile, meaning you can assign a profile to a controller so it logs in or prompts sign in for a dedicated profile. Meaning that I can allocate a controller to a profile so my little tornado of terror can only play games that are age appropriate that I can set using the family settings app. There is a link in the top corner to check out after this video for family settings. To link to profile, head to settings, select account, select sign in, security and pin. First thing to select here is if you're linking an adult profile is to select sign in and security preferences. Here you can set it to no barriers, add a pin, lock it down or customize for shared consoles. I would at least add a pin to hide content that's not appropriate for younger gamers. But in this case, I'm going to leave this controller set to no barriers. I'm going to press B to go back and select this controller signs in. 
And as it's my account, I want to link it so it selects me. Now, every time I switch on this console with this controller, it instantly signs me in. I get my game saves and my content. For this, I recommend having a controller for each user. Everyone can have a different color or addition, and then they know whose controller is whose, so there's no arguing. So there you have it, five super useful tips and tricks around the Xbox wireless controllers. Make sure you keep your controllers up to date with the latest firmware to get all the latest and greatest features. Which feature has ignited your imagination? Share your thoughts in the comments, hit the like button and subscribe for more adventures in this gaming universe. Until next time, keep gaming and I will see you soon. Ciao.